Hey gamers, it's nice. I hope everyone that's tired of PvP in their current MMO is having a nice day. Today, I am excited to talk to you about some issues in New World. Now, for those of you who don't know or you might be new to the channel, my main MMO has been the Elder Scrolls Online for, I mean, since release. I've had so, so many countless hours into that MMO and made it as a PvP game. Uh, well, as a PvP player is what I really focused on. That's obviously you got to do some PvE, but I focused on the PvP in that MMO. And since coming to New World, since the release of Brimstone Sands, I've really, really enjoyed New World. It was a very good, fresh switch up. Um, I started after Brimstone Sands. I never got to play New World at release, which um, from what I hear, I'm kind of glad that I missed out on all that hype. Um, as you may as well know, New World lost a lot of population after its release, and it's been struggling to kind of get even remotely close to that. And so the Brimstone release brought in a lot of new players like myself, and I was very interested in the PvP. Now the PvP has one issue in that it takes a very, very long time to get into because gear matters so much. There's no scaling open world. And that's what I want to focus on for this video, not as much as the grind of the game, although I will mention that. What I want to focus on today is the lack of open world PvP. Now let me explain. Open world PvP is a thing in this game. There's no specific zone. For those of you that came from the Elder Scrolls Online, you know you have your instance-based things like uh, Battlegrounds, um, which New World has something similar with 3v3s and Outpost Rush. New World has the amazing, amazing opportunity for open world PvP. Now what that truly means, what open world PvP would truly mean in this scenario is that the same map that you do your PvE in, the same map that your dungeons are located in, that all your world bosses are located in, that is a shared map that you have potential to PvP in. Now New World originally, like I think in beta, someone correct me if I'm wrong, it had a no option, like basically you didn't have to consent to the flagging. New World basically said, hey, you're going to go out there. You have no choice but to participate in PvP. Obviously, this was turned around. And so now we have the flagging system. And the issue is that you really do not have to flag. There's no incentive. You get a little bit more XP, but especially once you reach max level, there's really no incentive. I think there's a tiny bit of luck that you can get, but that's about it. Um, you will not often find players running around open world flagged for PvP. And to me, this is an issue because this is the most fun aspect of the game. I've done streams where I literally could not find one person. Even if you try to flag um, forts, try to take over forts in the open world, which has their own, you know, little benefits of taking each of them. It's sometimes you just don't get the action or you see the same one or two people. And I know this will vary server to server. There's some of you that participate in wars every day or maybe your server just has a crap ton of action. And just because I'm on a fresh start, it's a little bit different, but I digress. So I do have some instances of open world PVP, but like I said, it's very rare. But when I when it does happen, it's so fun. The fact that the whole map, you're not set into one map. You have the whole map. You can there can be a random place in the woods on this side of the map, on this side of the map. And you never know where a fight can go down. You never know what terrains in the area. You never know what NPCs that you really are gonna run into in that area. So you gotta worry about the NPCs and the enemies as well. And that's where you get this amazing PVX sort of um, engagement that really like, I, I love that. I love that. I love that kind of excitement. Uh, I think the Elder Scrolls Online did a really good job with this with Imperial City, where you have to worry about like, uh, I would say NPCs as well as the threat of players, as well as some very strong boss like NPCs. And I think this is really fun, but I think New World really, really missed the mark with this one. And I think they really need to take a hard relook. And I know I'm not the first player to say this um, from someone that's only been playing a couple of months. Here's my hours here on screen, actually. As someone that's only been playing for a couple months, I'm sure a lot of vets of the game have already <laughs> kind of hammered into this and been annoyed with it as well. But what do you guys think they could do to change this? I think perhaps more XP given, maybe bump up that uh, that extra loot, that bonus loot or the gold that you get from drop mobs. I don't know. There's got to be something. I think there needs to be a lot more. I would love to just run around I, w I don't think they should change it to where um i guess like ashes of creation system that uh will have basically you can attack whoever you want for the most part that's a paraphrased version of course but 
Um, I don't think that will work in New World at this point. I think people would just get annoyed. But if they can at least incentivize players to be flagged, and I don't think it's too late for them to adjust their system to do that. I think it's just a matter of tweaking some numbers, especially the uh, luck for good loot drops when you're flagged. I think that would be a huge game changer. Um, but yeah, I got some clips here in the background and um, we'll show some more of the rare instances of PvP that I did get. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy seeing that as well. But um, you guys let me know down below. What do you think? What would be a good solution? Do you find open world PvP like all the time and I'm just <laughs> on a server that's an anomaly to that? Or do you feel the same and wish that it could happen more often? I personally feel like you know 3v3s and opr sitting there waiting for the queue and everything like that it's just it's not as fun you know that same map every time with the same three objectives in the same location you know i would love to get some open world pvp combat i know we're getting cross server opr so that'll probably freshen things up seeing more names and everything like that but yeah um thank you guys so much for listening to this rant and uh yeah definitely leave your feedback below uh, excuse me feedback below <laughs> uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much peace